welcome back to Storytime Anytime. Thank you for coming back, viewers, and watching all our wonderful stories. Now, today I've got quite a funny story to share with you today. So let's go have a listen. A Teacher in the Wild Was it a joyous small trip for the new game now on sale? Or a nightmare in disguise? Heed caution in my tale. For this is a story of terror of a father and a child who narrowly escaped a teacher in the wild. The drive was pretty normal. Then we entered inside the lot. I saw a car like Mrs. Brown's. It couldn't be, I thought. She never leaves the school. Why on earth would she be out? Unless that wasn't Mrs. Brown. I had better sneak and scout. The first clue that it wasn't her was the t-shirt and some jeans. I see her each and every day. She'd never worn those things. Type fun, the look, dress, shoes with good arch support, whatever that means, hat, well rested, comfortable clothes, jeans are for Friday only, sneakers. Then there was her smiling face, it looked so carefree, not nearly as stressed out as she was in class with me. Mrs. Brown's yearbook photo. Oh look, it seems she's shopping. She's checking out the shoes. That looks innocent enough, but it could just be a ruse. Maybe she's an alien and her ship is landing soon. And she needs a special pair of shoes to abduct kids to the moon. Then onto the jewellery store where she's checking out a charm. Quite normal, you may feel and think, but I say sound the alarm. For everybody surely knows that teachers are always broke. Could this be a magical wizard in need of crystals for her cloak? You shall not pass second grade. Her last stop is in the bookstore. But if she wanted to read, well, school had an entire library of all she would ever need. Therefore, she must be a witch. She's shopping for her spells so she can turn us all to chickens at the sound of a classroom bell. I've got to warn my schoolmates of this teacher stealing stranger. If she makes it back to school, we're all in serious danger. I said, Dad, we have to go. But he ignored my warning call and I saw him wave at someone that was just across the mall. Oh no, it can't be true. Mrs. Brown was on her way. Run while you still can, or we'll both become her prey. She reached out her hand to shake, and I cowered behind Dad's back. I couldn't bear to see the carnage once she'd finished her attack. Did her tentacles wrap around him? Is she brainwashing his mind? Maybe melting his face to goo, or all those things combined. Just then I heard a laugh and a warm hand on my own. The subtle kindness in her voice, a soft, comforting tone. My eyes opened to Mrs. Brown and all her wonderful features. There is no mistaking it now. This was indeed my teacher. Turns out she is normal and sometimes leaves the school. Good thing I wasn't scared, but my dad sure lost his cool. 
Now let's go buy that game I want. But my father seemed delayed. Now wait one minute, kiddo. I want to discuss your grade. No, wait. You can't. Don't listen. Let's run until we've lost her. You see, this isn't really Mrs. Brown, but a jeans-wearing imposter. What a great story that was. I wonder if you've had a similar experience where you've seen a teacher out of, outside of the school. What a funny story. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. If you want to purchase a copy, head to the description. There'll be a link there for you. Don't forget to watch all our other stories on our channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.